If you're on the job market and you want to get more job interviews, then you need to be using AI to help save you time and get you that much closer to getting your dream job. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use ChatGPT to help you write your cover letter and resume. Seems like everybody these days is using AI to help them, myself included. The AI revolution train has left the station. And here are four ways that you can jump on the AI train and it can literally change your life. Number one, cover letters. Now we have to break down this process into five parts because the key to working with any AI model is that you have to work in layers. Just like with music, it's not about a single note. You have to incorporate different notes, melodies, harmonies, and you need to refine it so that way you get music that sounds like first step once you've found a job that you want to apply for you need to do a little bit of research on the company in order to be able to write the cover letter let's say you found a job at notion that you want to apply for go to chat gpt and type in the following prompt i'd like to learn more about a company called notion tell me more about their mission and values this prompt is going to save you a ton of time because instead of you going to the company's website to do your research ai can do it for you and it's super important that you follow this step do not skip it because we're going to use this information to help us write our cover letter so we can align the company's mission and values to your background. Second step, go to the job description of the job that you want and then copy the job description. Then go to ChatGPT and type in the following prompt. What are the keywords in this job description? Rank the keywords from greatest importance to least importance according to the job description. Then paste the job description that you copied earlier and hit enter. ChatGPT will pull out the keywords from the job description and rank it for you. It's important to understand what a hiring manager really needs in a candidate. And if you have a sorted list of keywords, then you'll understand what a hiring manager's prioritization is for a candidate that they're looking for. Now, once you have this list, you're gonna use this list for your cover letter and your resume. So be sure to keep it handy. Third step, now let's write a cover letter. Type in the following prompt into ChatGPT. This is a job description for a job opening at Notion. Write a cover letter to apply for this job opening based on this job description, then paste the job description and hit enter. And voila, so far so good. But we aren't done yet because this cover letter that you've just written is just based on the job description. Fourth step, now go to your resume, copy the experience, then go back to ChatGPT and type in the following prompt. Update this cover letter to include the following work experience. Then paste your experience and hit enter. Now the letter is customized to your experience, but there's still one last step. It's time to turn into Mozart. Now let's refine this letter down so it sounds more conversational and unique to you. And you can get super creative and have fun with this. Try different things. Try using the voice of Gary Vaynerchuk if you're applying for a job at VaynerMedia or the voice of Tim Ferriss if you wanna sound more like him. Here's an example prompt that I came up with. Rewrite the letter to sound more conversational. Incorporate specific examples based on this thread of how my past work has helped prior businesses solve challenges. The first sentence should express empathy for the hiring manager, how I can help the hiring manager solve their problems, and how I can be a value asset to the team. Add business appropriate humor and quantifiable data where necessary, and then hit enter. And now after running this prompt, you can probably use this letter, but I would still look at it and make any changes that you feel are necessary, especially with quantifiable data, because remember, we want the data to actually reflect the work that you've done. Number two, resumes. In order for ChatGPT to write your resume, you need to provide it with some information. ChatGPT is going to need to know some information about your background, so your work experience, your skills, your education, and any other relevant information that you feel needs to be on your resume. Now, if you've just graduated university and you're looking to get your first corporate job, but you don't have a resume, try the following prompt. Write a one-page resume for a new graduate of and then insert the name of your school who has a major of X, so substitute X with your major, minoring in Y, so if you have a minor, type that in. If not, delete it. That has Z years of experience in, and then add any internships, work experience, volunteer work, skills, and awards. So type in that prompt into ChatGPT and then hit enter. Now remember, if you're a recent graduate, you should put your education on the top of your resume. Now, if you already have a resume, you're going to use a very different prompt. First, I want you to go to your resume, copy the information from your resume, then go to ChatGPT and type in the following prompt. Create a resume with the following information. Then paste your resume information and hit enter. And now you have a resume that's a bit more optimized, but we're not done yet. So what I want you to do is go back to what we did earlier when we pulled that list of keywords. And I want you to select the top five keywords that were sorted from 
greatest importance to least importance. Copy those keywords and go back to ChatGPT and type in the following prompt. Update the experience in this resume to include five bullet pointed achievements each. Include metrics and quantifiable data. Each section should include at least one keyword from the job description. Here is a list of keywords to use. Now, after you've done that, paste the keywords that you copied earlier and then hit enter. The reason why you want ChatGPT to give you five bullet points is because you want it to give you lots of options to choose from because there may be some that are relevant and some that aren't relevant to you. And when it comes to writing your resume, I recommend having around three to four bullet points per work experience that you have. And again, try to keep your resume to one page if possible. Now, if you don't have any numbers on your resume, ChatGPT will likely add numbers in there for you. So what you're going to need to do is go back to the resume that ChatGPT created for you Take a look at the quantifiable data and see if it's actually relevant to your resume. And if it is, great, go ahead and pull that information. More than likely though, the numbers that ChatGPT is going to give you are not gonna be super accurate to your actual work experience. So go in there and modify them to make sure that it does accurately reflect the numbers that you actually have from your work experience. Now, if you're having difficulty adding numbers or quantifiable data to your resume, or you wanna add some more, use the following prompt. What are quantifiable skills of A, and then insert the title of a role that you had and give an example for each, then hit enter. ChatGPT will give you a list of quantifiable skills for the role and quantifiable examples as well. And again, go through the numbers and change them so they're relevant to your background and your work experience. If you want to know the biggest mistake that I see people make on their resumes, then check out this video where I show you how to clearly structure your accomplishments.